from hopscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review and this time something very exciting. It's a bottle of Good King Henry's Special Reserve 2010 from Old Chimney's Brewery in Dis, Suffolk. 11% ABV, Imperial Stout. This has been for quite some time one of the most highly rated um, British beers on rated beer. Uh, I think it is, and if it isn't, it has in the past been in the top 50 beers on rated beer for some time. Very hard to get hold of. Um, it, uh, I'm sure worldwide it's incredibly hard to get hold of, and that's why people, it's one of the most sought after beers in Britain. Tiny little brewery, very hard to get hold of over here. I've had it once before in the early days of doing Hobbsy, not this. Um, not this YouTube channel, the actual website, what I do. Um, so I have done a text review of it about three years ago. Um, but I haven't seen it since until I picked up this bottle online from Beer Merchants. That's the only place I've ever been able to buy this beer. It's very hard to get hold of. Anyway, it's, good, it's really good that I'm going to get this chance to um, revisit this beer after quite some time. Because I think my appreciation would have changed as well. So it would be really interesting. Nice little 275 ball. I don't know if, if it's aged in any particular barrels. Or is it just like aged in oak? Or oh, there we go. Limited edition oak matured imperial stout. So, yeah. Or oh, pours thick, like liquid, like liquid velvet. Not much of a head to speak of, as you'd kind of expect. It is bottle conditioned, so I will keep as much of that crud out as possible. Because it's from, it was brewed in 2010. I don't want yeast that is nearly two years old in my glass, if possible. So the beer in the glass, absolutely dark as that. I'd say very black, it's got a real nice sheen to it. Maybe a kind of a, red, a crimson kind of covering, I don't know. It might be just me seeing something in that beer. A lovely, fine film, a very tight, frothy creamy looking espresso it looks incredible Smell looks like imperial stout so let's check out what it smells like oh well you do get that oak oh that's beautiful yeah you get big dark malt character a black malt maybe some chocolate malt you get tar tobacco Currants, damson, yeah, a hint of damson, maybe a nice bit of molasses, really heavy roast coffee, loads of licorice, bonfire toffee, absolutely, get demerara sugar, that kind of thing. But yeah, that that oak is fantastic. I had a um, a French oak beer yesterday, and that was kind of like a weird kind of weird lambicky thing going on. But this has got like a really kind of like, ah, this it, it, it smells incredible. It's, it, there's an earthy kind of aged character to it. Yeah, it smells like a, like a, if you've, uh, my, my brother-in-law's got a cellar with you. He does a lot of kind of like, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of woodwork, he's a mechanic. It reminds me of um, when I was a kid, one of our neighbours, this old, uh, uh, quite elderly guy, he used to do do cars and do a bit of woodwork. He had this fantastic garage which was full of kind of enamel paints and kind of a, a lathe and, and a, and a work, woodwork bench with a, a vice in it and uh, tools everywhere. And it kind of reminds me of that, of oil and grease and fresh wood and... I don't know, it's, there's something very British about it. It's just really taking me back to the kind of that time of my childhood being around at Mr Baxter's house, squeezed outside of his car into his little, into his workshop. But that smells incredible. It's very British. It's a very British smelling beer, but that's beautiful as that oak character. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm. Good lord. Loads of body. Loads of body in that. Big, thick, oil slick of a beer. Not much carbonation to speak of. 
early on, maybe a slightly vinous red wine character. Kind of dark, heavy roasted malt. Nice bit of oak. It slowly kind of eeps away and then comes back with a tobacco, charcoal, nice bit of smoke. The coffee is coming forward. A really big, heavy, <coughs> sticky chocolate. A hint of port. Then dropping away, and you, once again, you get that slightly vinous note. Big, sticky um, dates. Yeah, it's like a tar Christmas cake. Mild coconut note. And then at the end, we get this really kind of like intense molasses bonfire toffee flavour. Sticky on your sticky on your lips. But that's incredible. It really is. Oh such a good beer. I don't know how I missed saying it. Licorice, without a doubt. Dried fruits. It's, yeah, definitely that kind of like that um, fruit cake character. That's beautiful. It's certainly not in the vein of something like Parabola. It's not a, a big American um, Imperial Stout. Maybe you could look towards something like Old Rasputin, um, Sierra Van Nawal. Maybe towards that kind of side of things. But then take it up, take it up about another five steps and you're getting close to this beer. And I think the thing that this beer has over them, it has this, it has this feeling of maturity and it has a load more body. And just, it's just more sophisticated. As much as I, I mean, Parabola, still the best beer I've ever had. And something like, if you look at Stone IRS, Incredible beer, but there's a freshness and there's a youth to that. But this is old. It's British. It's got a. It's got a bit of heritage to it. It's. It's nearly the beer in the bottle was brewed over two years ago. Actually, about two and a half years ago. You're not. You're not tasting that decay like you're doing like an eighteen-year-old beer. But you can feel that warmth and that age and that kind of something. But there is something very intrinsically handcrafted and moulded by time and by hand in this beer. It is something seriously special. I wish I could have bought more because I could share some with my friends. I only got this one bottle and it all sold out, you know, as it always does. It makes me sad to say that it's such a small bottle. I mean, I'd love a, I'd love a big bottle of this and share it around with a group of friends and send some bottles of this down to Dave and Terry and Simon just so they could enjoy this beer. But sadly, I only got one and it ain't cheap for this tiny little bottle, but it is absolutely world class. And for me, it's great having that additional knowledge now, um, thinking, well, this beer is still really highly regarded around the world, and damn right it should be as well, because this is seriously good. And you think about some of the best Imperial Stouts brewed in the UK at the moment, I will definitely put Colonel's Imperial Brown Stout up there, and, and Magic Rock's um, Bearded Lady. But this has got something. This has got something beyond that. It's got, it's different. They're different beers. They're younger, fresher beers, and they are. This has got an age. It's got age. It's got maturity. Anyway, I'm I'm, I'm repeating myself now, because I'm in, I'm absolutely loving this beer. It's something special. Check it out if you can. I hope one day you'll get to try this beer. It is certainly worth hunting down, and it is a bottle of Old Chimneys. Good King Henry Special Reserve. This is 2010. I think it's usually in the bottle for at least a year, two years before it ever gets released. So it's, it's probably in a barrel for at least a year, year and a half, two years. It's something really special, is that beer? So yeah, 11% ABV Imperial. Now, I'm of the highest order. One of the best beers brewed in the UK. I'm not going to argue. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com. See you next time. Cheers. What a beer.